Hi guys, I'm back with another video. As I mentioned before, this is part of my little mini series on my wax melts haul. I purchased a bunch of wax melts from Goose Creek and I decided to split them up into episodes so that you can watch based on your preference or if you wanna just watch them all, that's fine with me too. But today's video, I'm going to talk about my fresh and floral scents. So I have here Love Letter and I have Splish Splash. So if you're interested in these types of scents, then keep on watching. All right, so we'll start with Splish Splash. So this one is a very nice fresh scent. Mm, yes, check that wax color out. It's a nice periwinkle, love it. So for this one, I have fresh pomelo, mandarin. In the mid is exotic mango, passion fruit. The base is coconut water, coastal waters. So let me check that out again. To me, it smells like bath bubbles. I don't know why. I think this one smells more like bath time than bath time does because I have bath time as well. So that's what bath time looks like. The top notes are grapefruit fizz, okay, fresh mandarin, bergamot. The mid notes are lush papaya, mango blossom, and the base notes are blonde woods and white peach. And that's what the wax color looks like. So this one's a nice cute little baby blue. Mmm, it's a straight on grapefruit to me. <laughs> grapefruit frizz is one of the top notes and of course I picked that up immediately. To me, this one smells more like bath time or bubble, bright bubble bath than this one actually does. But long story short, I like both of these. These smell really good. They do freshen up the house and I definitely recommend getting Splish Splash. I really like that one over Bright Bath. But hey, if, if that's your preference, then I suggest Bright Bubble Bath. So next one I have is Rainbow Sugar. The packaging alone, I had to get two. I think it's one of the newer ones. And that's what that looks like. It's a nice little lilac pastel purple color. And oh my gosh, guys, when I lit this one, I was in love. It smells so bright, so yummy. The top notes are frozen strawberries, iced lemon, the mid notes are juicy raspberry, pink pomelo, and the base notes are sponge sugar and vanilla. Now when I lit this one, it was oh, amazing. To me, it kind of reminded me of champagne toast, the berry part, but it's a lot more citric. So the raspberries definitely remind me of the champagne toast kind of scent. And it has sponge sugar and vanilla, so it kind of softens that citrusy side of it. And it just, mm, it just smells so good. So I highly recommend Rainbow Sugar. Um, I saw a lot of people on Instagram with this as a candle, and I was totally intrigued. I mean, what does Rainbow Sugar smell like? I just, I had to know. So I picked it up, and I said, you know what? I think I have a feeling I might like this one, so I picked up two. I wasn't wrong. I really like this scent, so... I definitely recommend if you want to make a purchase and you don't know what to get, I recommend Rainbow Sugar. It smells really good. I like that one. Now moving on to another color is Pink Beach. This is what the wax looks like. It's a nice little pastel pink. Mm, there's something about this that smells like sand, the beach, suntan lotion. There's almost a hit of perfume in there. Very feminine scent. Look at that cover. This packaging alone is what made me want to buy it. Blue ocean water, pink sand, blue sky. That's like a vacation. This, this took me away. This, this is another fantasy scent for me. It took me there. The top notes are bright pink citrus. The mid notes are island berries, gentle musk, and the base is soft sandalwood and sea spray. Now that is where I picked up the beach the sandy beachness was the soft sandalwood with the sea spray. I totally get that. And I did get like a gentle musk, what when I thought was like the suntan lotions kind of smell. And it has uh, the bright citrus, maybe that's like pink grapefruit. People said that it, it could be a dupe for pink sands. I, I'm not quite sure where they have pink sands, but it took me there and I loved it. Next up is Stormfront. Wow, I love this one, guys. So the, the picture is obviously a tornado. I've never seen a tornado in my life. I don't know what a storm front smells like. Ugh, but this is such a nostalgic scent for me. I remember when I was a kid, we used to have book fairs. And in the book fairs, they used to sell erasers. This reminds me of that. <laughs> okay, wait, scratch that. It doesn't smell like an eraser at all. 
sorry, it's not that, but there was some kind of scent that, that smelled like this and it just takes me back. So the top notes are orange, red pineapple, and white peach. The mid notes are crisp apple, jasmine, lavender, and the base is cedarwood, sandalwood, and amber. This one is very perfumey, musky, delicious. I don't know, it just smells so good to me. And it, it, it kind of smells woodsy, like I smell that wood. I definitely smell, I don't know if it's sandalwood, no, cedarwood, sandalwood, amber. I totally pick that up. And it just has that freshness of the orange and the pineapple. Oh my gosh. It's such a good one. I, I don't know what the picture is about. I don't get that in my head, that it's a storm front. It's woodsy with citrus. And as I mentioned, I like my citric scents to be part of my fresh scents. I can see myself lighting that up in the, in the summer. Next up is Mahogany Driftwood. So I know Bath & Body Works has their famous uh, in high intensity mahogany teak wood. Mm, and I've been wanting to get that. Look at the wax on that one. It's like a, a grayish, a between gray and beige kind of color. And this one smells very cologne-y. It's like a man's cologne. I have never smelled mahogany. What, and what does driftwood smell like? I don't know, but it does smell good. It smells like a man, definitely. It does smell like a man, <laughs> a man's cologne. I definitely like this one. I think if I have guests over, I'm gonna like this one because this one smells very fresh, very cologne -y, very appealing. Next, I have lavender vanilla. And I haven't tried this one, but I had to pick it up because I like my lavender scents to be a little sweet. On cold, it smells delicious. I get that vanilla and I get that lavender. They're, they're, they're both equal parts. I'm sure there's other notes in there, but so far I like it on cold. Next here I have Sunday Drive. So it's a cute little picture of someone. It looks like Endless Weekend, right? From Bath & Body Works. So this one is a person driving and they're carefree. They have their hat out the window and they're near a field of poppies. It kind of reminds me of France because we have a lot of poppy fields and lavender fields. Mmm, this one smells like my beloved cactus blossom. I love it. When I read the scent notes, it said it had cactus blossom in it. And I said, I have to get it. I have to see if it's the same. And yes, it totally reminds me of cactus blossom. This one has the notes of cactus flower, soft raspberry. The mid notes are sparkling lemon, jasmine, and the base are sun kissed coconut and vanilla. So yeah, it totally sounds exactly like Cactus Blossom from Bath & Body Works. So totally, totally agree. I like it. And the last one I have here is Jungle Adventure. Now Jungle Adventure reminds me of when I went to Cancun, my summer vacation. Mmm. Look at the wax color on this. It's like a nice teal turquoise color. And this one to me reminds me of a bath. Like shower gel. That's what I get. <laughs> I totally get like a shower gel scent. So this one I do get like a fresh sea breeze, kind of like cool waters. It's very similar to Bright Bubble Bath as well. There's something citric about it. I dig it. I really like this one. This one I'm going to use in the shower. I mean in the shower. <laughs> I'm going to use when I'm taking a shower in the bath. Like I want to have the, the bathroom smell nice. This one is totally a bathroom scent to me. I like my bathrooms to smell like um, the sea. I don't know, like the waters, something about waters and bathtubs and bathrooms. It's it's all good to me. So this is where I'm going to be using it. And uh, it's, it's relaxing. It's calming. I, I like it. So definitely recommend that one. And that wraps it up, guys, for my video on bright and floral scents. I had to mix these two together because I don't have a lot of brights, I don't have a lot of florals, and so I combine the two in one video so that you can kind of get a feel of the scents that I picked and that I like. And yeah, so far so good. I really like these. I haven't had one that I was completely disgusted over, so that's the good thing that I thought about when purchasing the wax melts because imagine I spent like 15 to 25 dollars or euros on a jar for one cent that possibly I might not even like. So 
this is a good way of uh, checking them out to see which ones I prefer, which ones I really, really liked, and which ones have the potential of even uh, the, of a future buy in a big jar. So that concludes my video. Thank you guys so much for clicking this video, checking it out, sticking with me at the end. If you've watched this video to the very end, comment a candle emoji down below, let me know, and also which one was your favorite? Maybe there's one that I haven't tried and you want me to check it out, let me know in the comments down below. Again, if you haven't followed me there, check me out on Instagram at Cactus Blossom Lover. Comment, rate, subscribe, click on the notification bell so you know when my next video is uploaded. And thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.